First of all, your reaction to the speaker um, postponing um, emergency session. Um, I'm disappointed. Uh, we understand that our tourism has been on decline. But now we are regulating restaurants to have no more than 50% uh, capacity. Uh, we see our small business being hurt by this and really this bill was to create a path through this time so that people will be able to sustain themselves financially and help them out during their times of hardship. Um, it is to use their money that they've paid in their taxes. Uh, the government themselves are giving 14 days of paid leave and uh, it saddens me that we're not doing the same thing for, for the rest of our island. This bill, um, we do not have any unemployment laws in place. Uh, there's been rhetoric discussed about utilizing federal funds, but we cannot avail to those federal funds if we don't have any type of mechanism in place to receive these federal funds for unemployment. Uh, this bill would help utilize the local money to help our local families. And I urged my colleagues that, you know, that we should implement this bill now, that we continue the work today. Uh, we dedicate ourselves to the people because who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. These statements that are said by our leaders as things are always evolving. And so I, I've asked my colleagues if we can continue the work, but of course, uh, they're concerned for their, their family's welfare as well. And so that's something I have to respect. Um, I do not believe that we are in a state of panic like the speaker's letter said. If we continue to work and show the people that we are working for them, it gives them a sense of comfort and security. But if you cancel the session on the premise of leading it with a state of panic, then I think that the people only start to it creates more fear and anxiety within our community. Vice Speaker, do you think the reward of accomplishing what you want to accomplish with this um, bill uh, outweighs the risk that the senators and uh, legislative staff will face by going into session? I believe that this bill will help the families that are being laid off because of this public health emergency that will help them quicker I'm willing to take that risk to work for them. Uh, if this is the case where we have coronavirus already on our island, uh, what harm is it to finish the day, to finish our day's work, and then go into uh, a postponement of further actions of the legislature? What harm is it to work today while we are here today? What would your message be to those uh, private sector employees out there who are I mean, they're staring down the barrel of a gun. Uh, things are escalating quickly. We've already um, seen you know, hotel occupancy drop, uh, tourism numbers are down, uh, businesses uh, that aren't even uh, involved with tourism are struggling. So what would your message be to those um, workers out there who could benefit from a measure like this? Well, this is, um, these trials that we are facing, it, it's not just, singularly on our island it's it's around the globe and I, I, I believe that at these in these precarious times uh, where we don't know the future um, it allows us to come back to to what makes life important what gives life meaning um, and I believe it's our family and our faith and and we should use this opportunity to embrace that to embrace our family to spend time with them to rediscover our faith um, and to trust in God during these times and to be generous with one another, um, especially in times that are questionable, uh, whether it be with food or, or acts of kindness and assistance. Um, uh, to be compassionate to, to one another in these times.
when March 23rd rolls around, are you going to be working twice as hard to get this thing passed? I'll, be are, work, are you, are you I'll, gonna, be, I'll continue working till that day. <laughs> Is there any chance that maybe you're going to write something to the speaker and again urge her to uh, call for emergency session or are you going to respect her decision? Um, I'm just, what I plan on doing is just uh, writing, uh, listing the facts of the bill and listing the facts of uh, the federal government's piece and their role uh, for this timeline of unemployment assistance that the money would come from the federal government. Uh, there's no room. There's no room right now at these times to go back and forth. Uh, it's a time to just lay out the facts and just, just move on and, and protect one another as we face this time. Thank you, Vice Speaker.